Shalom. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad. It's your brother Barack Gabar coming at you uh, with another lesson. And i um, going to be speaking about the injustices of our people. Um, Cause this is not our rest, you know. Lord willing, this video is edifying to the hopeful elect to, uh, you know, get you to understand that we can't stay here. Okay, uh, there's a whole nation of people out here that is uh, 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 suffering, which are our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you might be on your day to day, and um, you know you. Uh, you might not experience some of these things, but our people as a whole, okay, we, we're being um, oppressed, okay, systematically. And it um, it wears on you, okay? And, and, and a lot of times, Jake don't even know he's being oppressed. Even down to the location that you live in, uh, what type of foods are at your supermarket, the ingredients in, in the foods in your supermarket, Okay, it's, it's all controlled by uh, the rulers of the world. And whether you believe it or not, okay, you know, we already brought all this information out. You know, we spoke, we speak about it all the time. But we, we keep bringing it up for, for those whose eyes are not opened. When you go in the Jake neighborhood, which is the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, there is a lack of uh, healthier foods. Um, there's a lack of uh, better health care. There's a lack of uh, 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 certain things that our people don't have <coughs> uh, access to. Okay. Why is there a, a Popeye's chicken on, on, on every corner in, in the hood, in a church, in a liquor store? Okay. Why all throughout the world uh, our people are in, in the worst areas? Okay, and I follow a channel where this guy, he goes through the different hoods in the country. And it, it, it's it's bad, man. We got to get out of here. You got to Jake that they, they just don't give a fuck. They don't want to leave. We got to go, man. We got to get out of here. Okay, these people are coming with a meatless agenda. They're killing the animals. They're killing the, the 18,000 cows. Just gone. The, the mayor in New York telling you, you got until 2030 to uh, go plant base. Or, you know, they're going to start restricting the meat <laughs> to go uh, carbon zero, net, they call it net zero. Zero emissions. They want you to drive electric cars. And and you're going to have to buy one. Why? Because they're eventually going to shut down these gas stations. And then if you can't get any gas in your gas-powered car, I don't care how new it is. You can't drive. So these people are putting a grip on the planet Earth. <clears throat> okay? Now to the article, it's a lot here for my rent. It says waiting game. Poor people, minorities, which is who, who who's the poorest in the country or in poorest in the world? It's the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. Poor people, minorities wait longer for basic services. This is a 17-year uh, survey. All right, from the line at the grocery store checkout. To the doctor's appointments, delays. It says uh, poor people and black Americans of all income levels. Poor people and black Americans of all income levels. So you could be a, a, a wealthy black man. You could have money. Guess what? That ain't good enough. Why? Because you'll never be respected here in America. These people, they do not like you. You might say, oh, well, not all of them will like that. 
We could pull out surveys for days. We could pull out articles for days. We could pull out statistics for days to show that as a whole, our people are being oppressed. So I don't want to hear about your personal uh, testimonies or your stories. As a whole, our people are being oppressed. We can look throughout the whole country and show you that our people, millions of black Americans, uh, uh, Hispanics, and, and Native Americans are being oppressed. Economically, systematically, educationally, we're being oppressed. We're being oppressed by who? Who rules this system? Who rules this current system? What nation of people rules this system? Who tells you what you can and can't do in this society? It's the so-called white man. But you might say, well, what are we going to do about it? First, this is the first step. Adhering to the word of the Lord, repenting. Okay, once I, once uh, the, the elect is sealed, okay, there are a certain amount of um, prophecies that are going to start to take place uh, in Matthew 24. You, they're, they already started to begin. Okay, when well, you got rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, the beginning of sorrows have already begun. So we're just forewarning you and, and edifying you and exhorting you and showing you, okay, that what the Bible is saying is true, okay, because it's all about the Lord. It's not about our feelings. It's not about what we believe. It's about what God says. It's about getting on the most high in his son's program, not your own program, okay? It, it's, it's not about us. We're here to preach to our people. To show them that you are being oppressed. To show them that the Bible is real. To show them the prophecies and the scriptures and show them that the Lord is real. And he, he is coming back to save his people. You, Israelites, that's what the gospel is about. Deuteronomy 28, 44. He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. The so-called white man don't ask you for money. When he need uh, uh, home, mortgage loans, auto loans, they don't go to you. We, go, we got to go to them. When we get our cars, the banks, who owns the banks? We got to go get a loan from the bank. He shall be the head. He's the head. And thou shall be the tail. Okay, and that's us. We're the tail. Okay. <laughs> and it's all linking up to the Bible. I don't care what nobody tells you, man. I don't care what 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 uh, the the these Christians they try to tell you or whatnot. We are the tell right now, okay? And this is just a, this is just another article to prove it. When you go into the uh, best neighborhoods in the country, what what's going on? What do you see? You see big matches and who who matches uh. Who matches up uh, uh, do those belong to? Okay, who 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 owns the who has the uh, you know not I'm not saying that our people don't have nice things. I'm not saying that, but as a whole, as a whole, as an entire entirety, it's our people that 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 don't have uh, access to things, and it's this it's just this right here. It says. Black Americans of all income levels face the longest wait times, according to a new research from the University of Albany, using 17-year data from the American Time Use, Use Survey. All right. It says researchers compare waiting times among households of different income levels and adjusted results, results for work and travel time, family obligations, education, and demographics. It says the unconditional gap in waiting time suggests low income people spend at least six more hours per year waiting for services than high income paying people. OK, because what money is the defense. You got more access to things when you got money. You're treated differently when people uh, uh, when you got money. You have more access to things. Black people experience the same higher average waiting time as low-income people, regardless of race. So you could be a black man or a black woman 
and you can be uh, uh, successful in this world. But guess what? Because you're his enemy, you gotta wait the same as a poor white poor white person. If both of you are in line, and you're rich, and that and that white person is poor, guess what? You still gotta wait. Okay, and the Most High, He's racist. So I don't want to hear, oh my, oh you're racist, you're racist. Look, God is racist. Don't want to hear it. Okay, that's played out. Look at this. Uh, it says examining any inequity in the time cost of waiting suggests clear implications of the waiting gap, even beyond stress and the loss of productivity. Longer waits for medical services result in worse health outcomes and long line at the polls impact people's ability to cast their ballots. So you, <laughs> well, I tell you, it says beyond stress and the loss of productivity, because if you're waiting longer than someone, then you can't be, it's some, you're being held back from doing something else productive. Okay. Which ultimately, uh, causes you to make less money in a sense because if you got to take off work or if you got to uh let's say you you got to take your child to the doctor's office and you still got to go to work later on you might be, be late to work why because you got to wait longer You're, we're, we're not respected here in this uh society okay and you can read the article if you want which goes to say that it's, it's oppression. Okay. <laughs> um. There you go. Deuteronomy 28 and 47. All right. Uh, it says, I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, if you do not serve the Lord, Yahweh, your power with joy and enthusiasm for the abundant benefits you have received, you will serve your enemies. And that's what we're here doing. The people who we work for, majority of them, they're Edomites. It says you will serve your or or, or the other nations. You will serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you. You will be left hungry, thirsty, naked, and lacking in everything. <laughs> the Lord will put an iron yoke on your neck, oppressing you harshly until he has destroyed you. Okay, now the, the yoke of iron is physically off our necks. Okay, but there's still a yoke. Okay, we're still yoked. All right, it's because we, we don't want to serve the Lord. That's why we're here in America. And here it is. We're, we're back again preaching repentance to our people. And, and Jake, you know, still, slavery wasn't too long ago. Like, damn, Jake, the Lord done, done punished us, put us in slavery. Uh, uh, the, 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 the after slavery, still Jim Crow laws. You still got your ass whooped. And, and you still, you don't get it. You still don't get it, Jake. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will only revolt more and more. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I believe I hit the point, and Lord willing, was edifying. Shalom.